Hey, Nadia. Hey, Erica. What's going on? Where have you been? I was in the restroom again. You've been coming in and out of the classroom. Is that where you've been going? Yes, I know. And it's weird. I've been super thirsty recently. Really? It doesn't make sense. Like constant. I just have to drink water all so the time. So how are you feeling? I feel really tired, pretty weak. Like I, I haven't even like, had time to go work out because I'm so tired. I just want to sleep, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, can I have some? Yeah. Thanks. So, um, do you know diabetes one? Mm. Well, no, but I think my dad has it. Really? Um, well, it's because you're showing some symptoms, which is a common uh, symptoms. It's polydipsia, polyuria, and polyphagia. Really? Yes, and it's more prevalent in women um, after puberty. And so the signs and symptoms you can always have, but they become more abrupt later on. Wow, okay. Well, I should probably get it checked out. Then. Yeah, actually, I have a really good doctor. Her name is Dr. Jeremy. You Thank should you. give her a call. Okay, I sure will. Thanks, Erica. Yeah. Hey, so have you studied for this test? Do you know what it is? October 28th. Ugh, I hate getting blood drawn. I wonder how long this blood test is going to take. Come in. Hi, Nadia. I'm Dr. Journey. Hey, Dr. So, we have your results from your blood test. Okay. So, we did a fasting blood glucose test. You hadn't eaten in eight hours, right? Right. So, the normal is supposed to be 126 and below, and yours was 126 exactly, so you were borderline. Okay. So, we did another test for you, the A1C test. And that's supposed to be 6.5% and below, and yours was 13%. That's hard. So basically, it just shows us how much glucose is attached to your hemoglobin over two to three months. Mm -hmm. And that showed us that you have diabetes. So to differentiate between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, we did the autoantibody islet cell test. Okay. And basically, that showed us that you had type 1 diabetes. Well, my dad has type 1 diabetes. Do you think I caught it from him? No, it's not contagious, but you do have an increased risk for getting it because it runs in your family. Oh, yeah. And also it's prevalent in European countries as well. And that's where my mom's from. Okay. Well, just to let you know, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder. The body attacks your pancreas so you can't produce more insulin. Okay. So to treat this, we'll give you insulin. We'll give you a rapid-acting insulin and a long-acting insulin. Okay. And Nurse Grizz will come in and talk to you more about that. So it's curable? No, it's not curable, but we do treat it. And the insulin is to help manage because your body can't produce insulin on its own. Makes sense. Okay. Any more questions? That's all. Okay, Nurse Grizz will come in shortly. Thanks, Doctor. No questions. I'm Nurse Grizz. You're prescribed long acting and rapid acting insulin. Um, your long acting um, carries out throughout the rest of the day and your rapid take it um, 15 minutes before each meal okay every yeah. day yes every day your life depends on this pretty much so if you don't take it every day you can have um, dka or diabetic ketoacidosis which there is acid in your blood and some symptoms of this your fruity breath okay. and weakness neuropathy which is a pain tingling numbness and your um, toes, your fingers, and this can lead into injuries because you cannot feel what's going on. So this can lead wow. to an amputation. So we don't want that to happen. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if I take my insulin, I'll be okay. Yes. And every day, even if you're sick, no breaks. All right. Okay. And at the same time, each day, nutrition it's important. She brought you a brochure. So you can see the dieting. Proper foot care is really important. So there's some shoes, especially for diabetics. So get shoes that are appropriate, not too tight. Okay, so how much is all of this gonna cost? The average for a person is 7,900, but um, there's insurance, so we can get the supplies you need. Okay. Also, to avoid complications, you know, medical checkups as your dentist regularly. Okay. Getting your uh, flu vaccine is important. All right, yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. Do you know what hyperglycemia is? Well, I think I was having those symptoms earlier. 
Okay. Do you know what um, hypoglycemia is? Not really sure. Okay, so some symptoms of them. Tremors, dizziness, increased heart rate, some nausea. So what do I need to do when I feel hypoglycemia? Well, you should have a snack with you. Um, a simple carb snack. Okay. Uh-huh, and that will relieve your symptoms. So something sugary like orange juice, okay. some candy. I'm going to teach you how um, to inject your insulin. Okay. Hey, so how did your uh, visit go? Well, Dr. Journey actually diagnosed me with type 1 diabetes like my dad has. Oh my god, how are you feeling? Are you okay? I mean, it's really stressful because now she said I have to take insulin before every meal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's going to be a lot of money for me now. And I don't know, I just, I don't feel like I have time for all that right now and it's so stressful. So. You know, there's support groups that you can go to and also you're not alone. There's one in 300 students here on campus yeah. that are actually diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you shouldn't worry about it. I mean, there's people that deal with this as well. And, okay. you know, maybe we can find groups here that we can connect you with. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll be okay. All right, because it's gonna really mess me up now. I feel like I just well, don't want to do with it. We have We okay. can go together. Do you want to go? There's one actually, like right now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go pray. All right, thanks. Hey, Erica, what's going on? Well, I just wanted to say thank you for Convo today. You know, it was really great and I feel a lot better. And it looks like, you know, I do have hope and that I can actually have a normal lifestyle. Although this may be boring, you know, relentless and invasive and painful, but I think I'll be okay. Right. Uh huh. Okay, well, I was looking online and it says that the average medical expenditure could be about 13700 per year with, you know, all of the costs for diabetes. And that includes my prescription meds, my diabetic supplies, my office visits, and if I ever need any hospital care. Right, I know it's a lot. I'll be working, so it's okay. Yes, I feel like the support systems might actually be best to help me share my emotional burden you know, that I'm carrying with other people like that you said may have this disease. So I'm looking online with the American Diabetes Association and it looks like they have a lot of groups, especially online support and resources. There's the Diabetes 24-7, which is their online tool and that provides access to a lot of tools to manage diabetes. And you can even create a personal profile there, track your health information and upload information from your phone and monitor your weight. I know, that's great. They also have recipes here. Oh wow, it looks like they have community message boards and you can even become a diabetes advocate to help others. That's wonderful. It looks like they also have rehab services in case I ever need you know, long-term care, God forbid. But there, it's right here in Sugarland by the school on 1550 First Colony Boulevard. They have the Kindred Hospital and they can help manage my symptoms through many approaches like interdisciplinary evaluation of care planning, integration of medical diagnosis and treatment planning, and intervention and close monitoring of my vitals. I know, that's great to have them there. There's also the Garden Terrace of Houston on 7887 Cambridge Street and they can do diabetes management and education and meal therapy if ever needed. Because my nurse Gris was telling me that that could be a big problem if my um, complications get worse and if I don't continue to take my insulin. Right. Oh wow, and there's another one here. It even has a salon. It's called Brook Hollow Heights. And they promote rest and relaxation for you and your loved ones. That's wonderful. That one's located on 1737 North Loop West. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for all of your help, Erica. I really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. I'll see you in school tomorrow. Alright.